so we're gonna, we're gonna do that the uh, non-immigration visa. Non-immigrant visa is to live in the United States uh, legally for a long time and, and then non-immigrant visa to able to obtain permanent residence. So many non-immigrant visa. But first one is the uh, we started to L visa. L visa meaning for main offices in, in yeah, for example in Korea or in China, uh, the uh, your country main office they have it. And then to in the United States it's made for the branch office. <coughs> If you are headquarters, headquarters meaning is main office. In China or Korea or any other country, you can have a branch in the United States. If you are in a company executive position, executive position meaning, for example, president or manager, you can go straight to permanent residency without a labor permit. And spouse of E, the uh, L visa, spouse of L visa holders can legally work with the uh, work. Also take a special uh, social security number and no problem apply to driver's license number also. First year, <clears throat> just one person is granted to visa. Second year is the two or three person. The first, the first year, first you come to the uh, US. That's the uh, L visa. Elvija also proved that the uh, dispatched staff worked as executive office at the headquarters for a consecutive at least one year. L1 visa can be uh, extended up to seven years and can apply for permanent residence after one year. That's the Yeah, so effective, uh, the, uh, you're getting a visa and you can get the easy and any kind of business if you have it in your country, even restaurant or any other business can get in the branch office in the United States. <coughs> Next one is E1 visa. E1 visa is no meaning import and export business. It is easy called a trade visa because it is issued only when there is a trade. This is a visa for trader of company of Korea or China nationality who actually engage trade activity, trade here, refer to active trade between United States com uh, companies, com or corporation and Korea or China. Of the total trade at the capacity of the United States corporation, Trade with Korea or China must account for <coughs> more than 50%. And we must actually do trade between, trade business between Korea and China or your country and the United States. 
must be a company, executive, or a person with the essential skill in company management. Even these are varied for two years and the extended identity <coughs> identity neatly. There is no limit the maximum period of stay. Trade must be must already exist. Even if it's a new company, you can get a vision if you show that trade with the US subsidiary and Korea will occur in the near future. What E1 Leisure is what are the advantages be possible with the relatively small investment? First of all, there are cases where a Korean company or a Chinese company has to make a minimum investment in an American company. In some cases, companies want to invest less than $50,000 because they can <coughs> operate their business by renting an office in the United States. Therefore, if, if a company with a few investment rules in the United States can meet this E1 leisure condition of it. Rules that trade with the Korea or China is active in the case of E1 Vision. The profitability, the profitability of the United States company is being of no corporations. The American company in learning a different, a different side. However, in, in the terms of trade are not. Even these can be eased. When you establish a corporation in the United States, you can obtain an E1 visa if you, you establish a company only a phone. And the other say E1 visa, meaning trading visa, from the United States to your country, a lot of any material can sell in United States to your country, any kind of material, and then you can get an E1 visa. E1 visa is the best good, uh, good one is the, uh, after one year, you can apply for the uh, green card, permanent resident. That's very effective for you. E1 visa. Next important one is <coughs> E2 visa. E2 visa meaning for the business visa at any kind. Any kind of business you open in the United States, for example, hair salon, restaurant, hamburger shop, any kind, any kind of business if you open in the United States, you can apply for the E2 visa. E2 visa is 
uh, the period of five years. But even five years, you can apply for the uh, green card. <coughs> even one visa, if you can apply after one year, you can apply for the uh, permanent residency. But each visa is just business only. But if you are each visa, you have a family or children, they can get an E2, E3 visa. But if, if two visa at least, you should invest at least hundred fifty thousand dollars. If you uh, get it for the hundred fifty thousand dollars, the money from your country, and then you can open at any kind of business. It doesn't matter the business kind, at any kind. But at least uh, you need a. Uh, and proof, you can prove uh, the invest of $150,000, something like that, uh, for your business, office, and then store, and including the any material, you can get the E2 business. That's easy, you can make it for the any business, and apply for the uh, E2 business. <coughs> If you get it for the regarding this kind of non-immigrant visa, so long time, legally, you can live in the United States. But uh, you don't know that uh, this kind of uh, the information, that a person is the, uh, just married or something like that. If that they uh, dismissed one time, whole life, 10, 12 years, that's not easy. You can get a permanent residency. That's so important. As possible, I strongly recommend you had better apply for E2 visa. If you have any store for the uh, trade, in case E1 visa, E1 is better than e E2. Because E1, after one year, you can apply for the uh, uh, green card, permanent residence, but the E2 visa, forever, even fi every five years, you can apply for the new visa, E2, e but uh, you cannot apply for green card. Have a better if you can do E1. but. Easy open E2 video. Any kind, any kind of business, we can do it.
next one, uh, E2 uh, here, E1 also, when you establish a corporation in the United States, you cannot make a E1 here if you establish a company only in form. Next one is the uh, next easy one, K visa. K visa is on we call fiance visa, meaning it is a visa for a man or woman who is engaged to an American citizen to enter the United States as an engaged person, married with a. Uh, 90 days and obtain formal permanent residence. K1 visa is on issue for the finance himself. K1 side of the uh, your car, the police office passing by. Police officer is the sign. K1. This time is a K1 meaning dog. Dog is K1. They going with the dog. K1. But the, this K1 meaning fiance visa. who is engaged to an American citizen to enter the United States as an engaged person. Marry, after that, marry within 90 days and obtain formal permanent residency. K-1 visa is on issue to the finance himself. K-2 visa in case he or she if in case he or she has a children issued to for them K1 visa is if for finance who entered in the United States does not get married within 90 days. His stay cannot be extended also. It is not all <coughs> changed to non-immigrant status other than permanent residence. To apply for this K-1 visa, K-1 visa meaning for the uh, citizen, citizen go to your country, and then one lady or one man just report to the uh, immigration officer. We gonna marry, and then go to United States. That's so easy. And um, 90 days, the temporary visa. If you come to the United States, within 90 days, should you marry. If not marry, you should be out of your country. That's so fast. Just to condition of marriage, if not married, be out of the United States. And then to marry then permanent residency to apply for this K-1 visa. For example, 
United States citizen who intend to invite the foreign final uh, foreign fiance to the U.S. United States must submit a non-immigrant application for the fiance to the nearest immigration service center. At this time, both parties must prove that they are legally in a position in the marriage uh, to marry. Explain that they have met each other on the past two years and submit photo taken together. If fiance has a child the child can enter the United States on K-2 visa. K-1 visa for fiancé who entered the country on a visa must leave the United States because he or she can cannot to another visa if he or her marriage to the American citizen is not established within together. That's so important. If you marry with the citizen, a lot of persons thinking I'm first degree, I married citizen, but first one first degree, marry the citizen, that's decline, position is 75% is position decline. Be sure to remember, if I marry the citizen, how oh, that's easy, I can get the uh, green card, permanent residency. No, that's you thinking wrong. Marriage certificate, marriage, 75% decline. But K-1 visa, almost over 95% is true. A lot of person is married after one or two years, the waiting for the uh, country. After that, approving for the uh, green card or man, uh, the uh, <clears throat> marry no if you get it for the uh, after one or two years prove from the United States after that coming for the United States enter the United States that's not easy that's the way if you marry you had a very easy you think about the using K1 visa. K1 visa meaning finance the, uh, the fiance visa. That's easy. And then also period is right away. You apply within one week, one month you can come to the United States. And then you don't have any information regarding the uh, K1 visa and so many period you should be away and then so high volume for the uh, visa decline. Sure to remember K1 visa. K-1 visa meaning for the uh, fiancé who enter 
the county, uh, the country on the visa must leave the United States because he or she cannot change, cannot change for the visa. H visa. H visa is a non-immigrant short-term work visa granted by foreigners in the United States for the purpose of temporary employment for a short period of time. Family members of H visa applicant can obtain a, con a companion visa, the H4 visa for family. You can apply for permanent residence and employer become your sponsor. H visa H1 is the uh, professional education or professional job, but in this day, not much for the H1 visa. Any kind of employee, you can apply H visa at least H H. To visa meaning babysitter or take care of the baby or take care of the uh, old person. This one is you can apply for the uh, H1 visa. You come to the school and then study. Every time should come to the school, but after a few years, you cannot get in for the green card. Regular to apply, but H visa you can apply for permanent residence, and the employer become your sponsor. H visa is not a professional. She's taking care of the kids. It is also possible to take care of the uh, if you are. Agricultural workers are not easy to find in the United States. Our workers who enter the United States temporarily for agriculture, chicken farm, poultry farm, something, you can apply for the uh, H visa. If you are any information, you can get the easy applying for the uh, green card or permanent is proof of residence. But uh, you don't have any information, you don't have any knowledge, just to marry. No, just marry. Be careful. If you are married with the citizen, 75% is declined. Another way, a lot of person is sad. All 
also one degree immigration, non-immigration visa with the uh, citizen married with the citizen. That's not easy. Seventy-five percent decline. And then also, if you're getting for the uh, church, that one also, 75% is decrying. You sure to remember non-immigrant visa. You had well taken for the non-immigrant visa, H1, H2, L, uh, E1, E2. And then also, so many different visa. For example, O or P visa. O visa is a, if you are a scientist, educate, educator, artist, athletic. If you are recognized as those kind of uh, the title, you can renew your O visa. At least one of the following requirement must be demonstrating all visa meaning at least one of the following requirement must be demonstrating number one a word recognized nationality or international internationally in the relevant field. Second, specialized magazine specialized magazine or newspaper, TV and radio articles converting the applicant activities in the relevant field in case you can apply all visa. Next one. Experience as a core employee of the uh, prominent organization. on academic paper adopted in a specialized journal or major media. If you get the getting for the, this kind of copy or article the copy or something, you apply with that article, you can apply all visa. All visa is easy. O or P visa. So many visa. Next one is a H visa. H visa is a non immigrant short term work visa granted by foreigners in the United States for the purpose of temporary employment for a short period of the time. Family members of H visa applicant can obtain a companion visa. The H4 uh, visa you can apply for permanent residence and employer become your sponsors. H visa is an is not a specialist. Even not specialty, simple work also. For example, she's a take care of a, at the kit. In case you can apply for the H visa. It is also possible to take care of the elderly. 
take care of children, take care of elderly, older person, you can apply for the uh, aid to be there. A lot of person is just a professional job. Yeah. Of course, professional job, even great day, university or doctor degree something in case if you apply for the aid to be there so easy but even you don't have any school evidence that's for children take care of child children take care of all the person you can apply for the uh, aid to be there any kind you can do it, not many when be here. A lot of person is, doesn't have any information regarding the uh, non immigrant visa. Agricultural workers are not easy to find in the United States. A worker who entered the United States temporarily for agriculture, for example, chicken farm, poultry farm, in case you also H visa. H visa, so many persons apply for. Sure to remember H visa, so important. We should check it out one by one. Which one is the non-immigrant visa? Today is just E1, L, E2, K visa, H visa, O visa, P visa. You have a better. We do maybe a uh, next day one more time for the uh, any other visa, and also to remember for adoption. If you have uh, any children, you think about it regarding the adoption. But adoption is a period over a year after finishing the adoption over a year at that time if the children is not over 13 years old 14 years old they can get a citizenship right away adoption adoption meaning at any person, at any person for the citizen. Citizenship is that he can get the uh, adoption. Doesn't matter he getting for the uh, good job or not. All the person is also. I strongly recommend for the uh, adoption. Adoption is the first one should apply to the uh, superior court. Superior court, you apply for the adoption for children. <coughs> and adoption is the, uh, all, uh, no, superior court is period almost one year period. At that time, Children division of a county office. Children division is come to the uh, house, visiting a house. How they can do any children is the uh, safety and then good place they can do it to come to the uh, house. After visiting the house, after that, 
the report send it to the uh, court he, he is living his good house he is the uh, parent he's a good person sending to the uh, report to the court and the both receiving from the uh, division of children after that ch children a child getting old <coughs> Proof from the judgment. Judgment meaning of proof. This application is proof. After that, that proof to be uh, sent to the California government. And California government issued for the child of uh, uh, no, uh, the birth certificate. Birth certificate but not over the 14 years old not over the 14 years old he getting the birth certificate applying for the citizen within six months he can get a united states citizen so easy without permanent residency just a citizen but important is not over the 14 years old if over 14 years old he can apply after two years he can apply for the uh, uh, green card permanent residency important is one year period not over the 14 years old he can get a citizen but over the uh, 14 years old, he can apply after two years. After two years, he can apply for the uh, resident, permanent residence. And after one year, he can get a green card. After five years, he can apply for, uh, he can issue for the citizenship so many one child for the uh, 13 years old one child is a 14 years old he applying both uh, both time and then one for not over the 14 years old he can get a right away citizenship but one more year he can apply for the after two years resident permanent residence. After five years, he can get a citizen. So many periods different. That's easy to apply for their adoption. Adoption also, if you are citizen, if you know that there are any citizen, so easy you can get it for the uh, citizen. A lot of persons doesn't have any information regarding the uh, adoption, but. Adoption is so important. Also, any other non-immigrant visa, too much. One by one, I will give you that the information regarding non-immigrant visa. You can apply for the uh, easy way and legally short period. A lot of persons just tying to the uh, wrong way. If you apply for the uh, wrong way, so many period could 
terrible situation. Sure to remember, if you don't have any information regarding the non-legal details, please call me. I will give you that we have more information regarding non-immigrant details, meaning if you live in the United States a long time, the study is so good, and then child also, doesn't matter if you go to the uh, first elementary school and then to middle school, high school, that's not easy, that's not expensive for the uh, tuition in the school. But uh, if you go to the uh, university, too much expensive for the tuition. In case, he should be before go to the United States, he should get it for the uh, <coughs> green card. In case, best one is adoption. And second one is the uh, family father or mother getting for the business or branch office L visa, H1 visa, at least E2 visa, E1 visa. E1 is trading. After one year, he can apply for the green card. But E2 visa, extension has the five year, but he can apply for the uh, green card forever. That's so important. So important. If you need the more information, please call. My phone number is 213 505-7703. Any information you need, you call our teacher. If you need any legal knowledge, you live easy in the United States. If you don't have any knowledge regarding the uh, legal, that's so terrible. One by one, just remember that. Immigrant is to help, not much. Have uh, the study. Uh, Next time we go to the uh, more information we can get. Today is this, this one finished. Thank you, everybody. Bye, everybody.